It was a capacity crowd at the Minigan Room Tuesday afternoon as everyone from football players past and present to the SGA executive board to various coaches from the different Towson sports teams waited to welcome new head football coach Rob Ambrose to Towson University. Well, I, I was at Virginia Tech during the Michael Vick years, and we saw firsthand you know, the, the, the enthusiasm, our attendance grew. The more successful programs have, it's all the better for everyone. You know, it's all about supporting the program. We've been a part, like I said, we've all been a part of it for the past five years now. You gotta, like you said, it's all about the people within the, within the organization, so you just want to show your support and be here for them. But before the man of the hour was brought to center stage, Athletic Director Mike Herman and President Bob Corrett made it clear why Ambrose was the right guy for the job. You know, Rob's not our choice because he's a Towson guy, but we're proud that he is. He's our choice for our head coach of our football program because he's the best man to lead this program into this new era. We need to win. I mentioned in my fall address this past year that winning is no longer an option at Towson University. In athletics, we have to win if we're going to take our place as that other institution in the state that people recognize and respect as a truly mature campus that has taken its place in Maryland history. The pressure to succeed is something that was reiterated throughout the press conference. Anybody count how many times President Kurtz said win? <laughs> Still, Ambrose seemed to welcome the expectations and even take them on a step further. Uh, now, I got two choices. I mean, this is psychology. You can either go sit in a corner and cry about it or you can come out swinging. I've always preferred the swing. I talk about filling up the stadium. I don't want to hear about filling up the stadium. I want to hear about expanding the stadium. I was here when they made the plans for the place. And I was a little angry that it wasn't made bigger than it is because eventually we're going to put something on the table where everybody's going to want to be there. As the crammed audience sat silently listening to Ambrose speak, hanging on to his every word, it was made clear that the former UConn offensive coordinator was passionate about turning the program around. And it's all of our jobs to turn this thing into the thing that we all know it can be, that it's supposed to be, and it's about damn time. So tell your friends, tell your buddies, call them all up, you're invited. However, before the new head coach got going about the future, he made sure to acknowledge the past. <sighs> to talk about what we're going to do and to talk about where we're going to go, it is not right considering the history of this place that I don't at least severely acknowledge the founding fathers. The Carl's the first head football coach here, and you know, he's a Hall of Famer himself. He chose to leave football and move on to lacrosse, but he's the beginning, block number one. Followed by Phil Allen, who got me to come here, play for him, go to school and get my education from here. And in all the world of football, he's a god for what he's done. And when he was done, Gordy jumped in and took over full steam. And he went from the bare bones at the bottom and another league and another growth section, another growth period, and immediately we started winning. And he, he held on to the reins the whole time. He, along with Rich, Carl, and Phil, deserve all our respect. They are the past, and without the past, there is no future. The Maryland native understood the importance of connecting with the student body and plans to break down the barrier between academics and athletics. Um, let's just say that I have some serious ideas of how to get players to interact with students to where it's not a us and them, but we turn around and start making it a we thing. The 38-year-old coach also wasn't afraid to challenge Ralph Friesen and the Maryland Terrapins. Let's turn this thing around, let's win some ball games, and please schedule Maryland. Yeah, Ralph, schedule Maryland every year. <laughs> Ambrose wasn't short on analogies either. The Towson alum used them to explain why he came to Towson and why he would be calling the plays on offense. Your alma mater is like your mother. When mom calls, you come home. I consider the offense kind of like your daughter. I just don't know if I trust anybody yet to date my daughter. <laughs> After he finished speaking, the enthusiasm contagiously spread throughout the room. So I think he's a good guy. I think he's good for the program, and his sights on the future are really high. So you know, I'm really excited about that. Well, I want to get a chance to run the ball, and I feel like he's going to run a diverse offense, and we're going to be able to run the ball. Okay. So.
it'll, it'll go both ways. Um, it's great, and it shows the growth that the department and the school is going through. That we can actually have something like this now. He's definitely he had a great personality. You know, he wasn't. You can tell he's very passionate. A lot of things you can tell he's going to put a lot of hard time and effort in this program, and uh, can't wait to see see what direction it takes it. Ambrose says that there are two things that keep him breathing: taking care of his family and coaching football. And the Tiger alum will have everyone's full support as he begins, especially from his two biggest fans. Tails and Tigers rule! Tails and Tigers rule!